What is up, bitchin' and massin'? We are back. There isn't any real need to change things just for the sake of changing the computer technology. The rain's supposed to come in right around lunchtime, noon, one o'clock, so we don't have much time. What is up, bitchin' and bassin'? We are back. That's right. We're back. Back from Florida. Back from all the BS. But yeah, guys, we are back. We are headed to a lake this fine. Wednesday morning? Wednesday morning? I don't know. It's been a rainy last week or so, week, last couple weeks. And it's supposed to rain today, but we, I've fished this lake a couple times this year already, but uh, there's been some good fish in here. I lost the giant, so I want to get a good fish out of here. Um, kind of want to figure this lake out, but either way, the rain's supposed to come in right around lunchtime, noon, one o'clock, so we don't have much time. It's 6.30 now. I should be there and in the water probably by seven, quarter after seven at the very latest. So we got like four hours tops, guys, tops. So we're gonna try to get on a hog for y'all. Uh, even though we only got four hours, I got the freaking, I swear I got every freaking rod I own I tied up last night and the clouds ahead of us are not looking well. Let me switch this out just so y'all can see. Yeah, that's what we're driving into right now. But, but yeah, guys, uh, if you are not, Please join the BNB fam, join the movement, join the vibes, y'all, and hit that subscribe button, you know. I would much appreciate it. I love the BNB fam. Of course, y'all are the best, man. I love the support. I love seeing you guys out. If you see me, make sure to say, what it? What it? Dick? Oh, don't call me a dick, but, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully, the rain holds off because the weather is always crazy. I'm just hoping it doesn't move up. We do got the rain gear just so we don't get wet. I got an extra pair of clothes. If you guys own a boat, you got to keep an extra pair of clothes with you in the car, in the dry box, somewhere. It's a tip for your boy. But yeah, guys, just wanted a quick intro for you. Hopefully, we get on a hog, bitching and bassin' style, y'all. Let's get it, y'all. At the end of this video, make sure you hit that like button. I'm not going to say hit it now because you haven't watched the video yet. But if you do like the video, it, it helps a lot if you hit the like button helps even more if you're subscribed y'all much appreciate y'all let's get on the water i'll see you when we get the gopro set up let's get it A favor and subscribe now before you forget. Let's go catch us a big one. And I want to try to catch five fish before this rain comes in, guys. We only got about four hours or so, so we should probably get on it. As you can see, this is the new swim bait I wanted to show you guys. This is the Savage Gear Pulse Tail Trout. This is only the six and a half inches, a small one. We got cranks, deep cranks, square bills. I got a wobble head, jig, chatter bait, buzz bait. Guys, we got a fluke, which has done good here. So, this thing, this pulse tail, like I did, you guys see me throw the bluegill version. This thing is a line through, and you can put it on top. 
There's a spot to run it on top if you want, which I, I'll probably do. But today for the weeds and everything we got in here, there's a ton of carp in here. So hopefully something wants to eat a nice baby carp. That's, I mean, it looks good. So hopefully that tail kicks good. We're gonna throw that today, but we gotta hurry up y'all. We don't have much time. So. There's a little guy. Just look out. Just look out. The trailer hook. There's was a fish here. Oh, he wasn't going anywhere, guys. You see? That's it. The trailer hook got him good. But that really that was the first fish. Right, he's not a keeper. Here. This thing messed him up. Fish number one, y'all. Let's get it. Fish, but he wasn't a keeper. Dude. I'm gonna do a crank. Oh, please tell me I'm recording. 
Oh my goodness, that's a giant fish. That is a giant fish. That is a giant fish. Come here, that's my PB. Oh, that's my PB. Yes. It's not my PB, but... Kraken. Did y'all see that? We just caught a giant deep crank. Oh my goodness. Why is that no? Dude, we just caught a giant deep crank. And, uh, I'm addicted. I'm addicted, dude. Oh my god, look at this fish. <laughs> look at that. Dude. Dude, I felt it and it just snaggled on through it, dude. Um, forget top water, dude. My first deep crank fish is a giant. Oh my goodness, dude. Dude, straight hog, dude. 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 I told you. Bruh. There was this fish in this lake, and it was on the deep crank. The striking deep crank thing, dude. Oh my goodness. As as Mikey Balls would say, she fungal donked it, dude. She had both hooks, one came out in the net, dude. Oh, such a great fish, dude. We're gonna get her on the scale, put her in the tank, try to catch another one, dude. This thing is a giant. My goodness, dude. Oh came out like dude, she just Dude, they're already hitting the deep crank. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at that fish. <sighs> 10 kilograms, y'all. I don't want to keep this fish out longer than it needs to be. This is fish number one. Dude, look at that guy, dude. Dude, look at that fish. Look at that fish. Let's get her in the well, dude. I've had this for like six months, but this is like the second time using. This is the David Fritz Perfect Crankbait Deep Crankbait Rod. I got it for like 60 bucks, 50 because I used a Dick's coupon. And freaking got the Strike King 6XD, dude. And we was just testing it out. Got 12 pound line, sun line, 100% floor, nothing special. I chucked it out right where, I gotta show you guys on the graph. It's like, it's like a, a kind of like a ledge, not really, kind of like a hill underwater. I know there's fishing terms, but I feel probably, I feel sad. It was the glasses that did it, dude. But she's a chunky monkey. I need to put some G-Juice in there, but uh, yeah, guys, just throwing this giant freaking crankbait down there, and like, I could feel it digging, and then I let it go float up a little bit, and as soon as I started cranking it again, it was just like, I thought a muskie had hit it something, just because it was like, it was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, it was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, the head shakes were mean. So we're gonna see if she has any friends down there. I'm gonna make that same cast a couple more times. We're gonna go down, still throw that buzz bait because we got grass down there. But I know where I'm focusing on this bike, dude. Do you see that fish? That is the fattest 17 or 18 inch fish. Dude, this, we're in July. Why is that fish so fat? Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness. Make sure she's okay real quick. All right, guys. We got her in there getting her some air. I'm going to give her some G-juice real quick, and then I'm going to get us out of this bush. Uh, uh, back up. Yeah, but I'm throwing my crankbait up this ridge. Or along that ridge. I'm probably just float it back up, but... First cast on that ridge and that fatty bow bet. That's like a three and a half, four pounder. Watch out! 
if we turn up rolling. Hey. Decent bag to get it. He destroyed that for it, dude. Hopefully, it gets gone. I didn't need it too long. Look at that flip, dude. Look at that flip, dude. Oh my goodness. Dude. That fluke did. <laughs> Let's go, bitch in the back. I'm gonna. I need pliers to take out this freaking. Oh man, her bag might not be that bad today, dude. Jeez Louise. He freaking swallowed that thing, dude. Swallowed that. Hook. That's probably about a pound and a half, two pounder. So far, we had six for two hours. Right? Yeah, we're happy with each other. Trying to tell you about these hooks, these drop dead hooks. There's something else, man. There's something else. Okay, alright. Weather check. Alright, the storm was supposed to come at 1, or between 12 and 1, so let's do a weather check. Oh, man, the storms aren't coming. Come on, baby. Alright, we got till 2. We got an extra hour. Let's go. So it's like a legit tournament now. Alright, y'all. Let's see if we can catch another bass. Hopefully that one we just caught is the smallest one in our bag today. So we got two down. We need three more. Um, if they're real big ones, y'all, like if we get into some big ones, we'll weigh the smaller ones and let them go. Because I, I, that's just a like a 10, 15, 20 gallon cooler. Um, I don't think it's 20 gallons, but uh, I was just throwing a freaking fluke and like kind of letting it. Wait, it's up on this grass, I need to get back down here.
Get in there. I'll just make it. Okay. It kept getting bit, dude. It kept getting bit. It kept getting bit, dude. It's like, yeah, look, came right out on him. Look at that. Boom. That's like, hopefully, that's the smallest one we catch today. I was on the chatterbait, y'all, so. We're jump fishing it up today. I think the, the conditions are just lining up, guys. Like, it's overcast, we got a storm coming in, and they're just biting whatever passes from them. We got one on a deep crank, a good one. We got one that straight swallowed the jerk bait, or the soft jerk bait, and then we got one to eat the chatter bait. But I got a couple bites, so I'm gonna throw up there a couple more times, see if we can get another one to go. So. Yeah, he should make it. Let's check him real quick. Yeah, he's 13. So, say 12, we gotta check. If it's 14, we're gonna have to toss him back. I was snapping. That's the biggest fish of the day. We are catching hog snake, dude. Oh, dude, this is why I've been coming to this lake trying to figure it out. And guess what, guys? I think I figured it out. It turned out to be the right day, dude. Look at that fish. Wow! Crushed the chatterbait. Oh, man, I just. Got him, dude. Just got him. Oh, look at that fish, dude. Yes. Dude. Boy. Thank God I remembered the neck because he was not. I did not want to flip him. Dude. These fish are getting thick after this bomb. Boy. Yes. Goodness, dude. Dude. That is a gorgeous fish, dude. A chatter donkey fish. Damn it. And they're gonna make me put another trailer on this thing. My son of a bitch. That was a corner of their mouth or duck. Green pumpkin jackhammer. Salsa swimmer. 3.8. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. An electric shed. Be a be a. Dude. 
he just like ate it because like it didn't crank nothing, it didn't nothing. I just freaking set the hook praying. I still want to crank some because the first fish ate the crank, but they're eating today, guys. Just cut down a tree into the water where I was just fishing. number five or six but can't in the box still only got four in the box that's it it's getting windy out here guys it looks like the storm passes but looks like it could be blowing back that's right but that's why we're sticking in that bridge because yeah yeah whole bunch That's cool, bud. We are hiding out the rain, my guy. Whew. Under the bridge. We're doing some shitting down Sanko fishing, you dig? I think I, oh, I looked at that one. No, thank you.
First dash, y'all. B&B fan, what a day, and now we're gonna weigh them up, I just wanted to get the truck over here, we got five good ones, y'all, I was glad to call that last one, um, 
We ran out of videotape. The GoPros both died. I thought those batteries would last longer. I don't know how I went through four batteries so quick. Um, but anyways, uh, I caught a bunch of the chatterbait just lit lit the place on fire after both cameras died. Thankfully, one of those ended up calling that little 13-incher we caught earlier today. It was like, what, our second fish or something, third fish? So, we ended up having a decent bag. So, we're going to get the Jeep pulled over, AC running, and this phone's hot. But I'll set this up on the tripod and we'll do the weigh-in because, like I said, both GoPros are gone. Let's get them weighed up and see what they weigh. I'll see you over in the boat. so feisty today dude all right that one's three and a half pounds freaking stud all right you're going back in because i just want a picture with the two biggest these the other ones twin got one on a chatterbait and one on a freaking crankbait i bet you this thing goes the same it's fish number two i think that's the biggest by a little bit she's longer that other one's fatter but she's shorter Come on, don't do it. Oh, damn it. They're freaking twins, dude. This one's three ounces lighter. She's longer, but that other one. That's one of the small ones. Bing bang, let's get her weight. Quick weights, I know our best five went. Two pounds on the dot. Two pounds on the dot. Probably should have dropped this again, huh? Alright, girl. And you go. Alright, I got the two small ones. Alright. Uh, Fish number four. 110, just over a pound and a half. 110, 110, one pound, 10 ounces. And we got this dude. This is the frogfish. Caught this guy on a frog today. Thought it, I missed a giant, dude. Oh, I missed a giant. And 1.9. Dude, all these fish were twins. Like, one was 1 1.8, that one's 1 1.9, the other was 110. No, one was 110, this was 19, one was two pounds, and the other with twins. That's fish number five, so we're gonna add those up. I'll put that on the screen now. There you go, get you in the back, baby. Let's go. Right, and we're gonna pick the two big ones of the day. One was 3.5 and short, dude. She's like 3.5, 16 inches. The other one's like 19 and 3, or the one's 3.8 and 16. The other is 19 and fucking 35. That's nuts. That's why I wanted to, I wanted to picture real quick. 